Hello everyone, welcome to techtour.com. In this video, we will solve this problem or basically example. And this example is to illustrate the protocol of multiple granularity. Okay, so the f this is the granularity level given. Okay, or basically this is the tree formed with the granularity. And here you can see this is database. These are areas, these are files and these are records okay so this is the hierarchy of physical organization of data okay now when you lock a database of course all the areas are locked when you lock area all the files are locked okay and when all the files are locked all the records are locked right because this record is inside this file this file is inside this area and this area is inside this database right okay now we are following multiple granularity protocol and the first thing a transaction T1 wants to read RA2. So record RA2 it wants to read fine. So where is RA2? This is RA2 it wants to read right. In order to read this item what the transaction needs to do? It needs to obtain a shared lock right but before it obtains a share lock here we already know that it needs to travel from root to this node and it needs to check that whether some node is locked in this path okay and if it is not then it has to acquire intention mode locks to indicate that at lower level some explicit shared lock is being obtained now it starts with database and here database as it is no lock no lock is there so it will obtain a intention shared lock right it indicates that at lower level shared lock is obtained explicitly right okay now this one again intention shared lock it will obtain here it will intention shared obtain and then finally at this level it will obtain a shared lock and then it will perform this read operation fine now the second example is that transaction t2 modifies database item ra2 okay record ra2 as you can already see that you can see that this database item is already locked with shared mode okay and here it has to modify and modify needs a exclusive lock modify means writing the data okay so to write the data it needs to obtain an exclusive lock and exclusive lock is not compatible with this lock so it won't be obtained right so this is this won't be obtained and transaction will roll back now let's assume that this is a3 okay let's modify a bit and this is a3 now now somewhere here we will have ra3 and transaction t2 wants to write this item ra3 okay now in order to write this item ra3 it has to obtain a exclusive lock and if it has to obtain exclusive lock first it will have to check whether at upper level all the ancestors are lock compatible or not right so it will start with database and here it is intention shared mode locked and to write at the bottom what it needs to obtain exclusive lock right so as we know that intention shared and intention exclusive are compatible as intention shared is compatible with all locks ex except exclusive lock what does it mean that we cannot directly obtain an exclusive lock here it is not possible right Similarly, it is not possible here, but what we want is we want to obtain exclusive lock here on this data item RA3, right? And the parent whose FA has to be locked with intention exclusive. And here we want to have exclusive lock, okay? So exclusive lock cannot be granted with intention shared, but intention exclusive is compatible and can be granted, right? So we will have here intention exclusive lock again here intention exclusive lock will be granted intention exclusive and then 
this transaction T2 can perform write operation on this database item RA3. Fine. Now in third operation which is done by transaction 3 it is it wants to read all records on FA. So this is my FA. <coughs> this is my FA and this transaction uh, this transaction T3 wants to read all record. In order to read what we need to obtain here shared lock right and now we need to understand whether shared lock is compatible with intention shared or intention exclusive. So as we know that shared lock is not compatible with intention exclusive. Okay? You can refer the compatibility matrix intention this shared lock is not compatible with intention exclusive which is already there obtained by transaction T2 right in order to write this data item R3 fine. So this shared lock cannot be granted here so this transaction will not execute. Now R4 reads entire database DB. So in order to read entire database DB this transaction T4 needs to get a shared lock here. Again in order to get shared lock we need to check whether shared lock is compatible with intention shared and intention exclusive. Okay? So if you refer the compatibility matrix intention exclusive is not compatible with shared so we cannot perform this operation or this entire operation by transaction T4. right? So it means that these two operations 1 and 2 we can perform parallelly but due to the conflict due to this, this second one this transaction T2 which has done some exclusive intention exclusive lock we cannot perform this these 3 and 4. Okay? So this was an example on multiple granularity and I hope you understand it and if you don't Please ask your doubt, I mean specific doubt on tech2.com and if you have not understood entirely please repeat the video. So see you in the next lecture we will where we will learn timestamp ordering protocol. So thanks for watching.